All new tonight at 6, Little Five Points is one of Atlanta's historic and most well-known neighborhoods, and it could be getting its first big mixed-use development. The new proposal is gaining traction tonight, but some who take pride in their quirky community aren't too happy about the idea. Doug Richards has more on what it would bring. Because Little Five Points is one of Atlanta's unique historic neighborhoods, this proposed development is producing a unique controversy. It's the quirkiness of the stores, you know, the atmosphere. It's just eclectic, and Little Five Points gave that to me, and that's why I'm here. Patrice Hull is one of many independent shop owners in Little Five Points who view the neighborhood as part commercial district, part counterculture attitude. And that's what I'm afraid of with the new development. Will it take away from that? Hall's custom apparel and accessories store is about a thousand feet from a property where the owners want to build this, a seven-story mixed-use residential and retail space unlike anything now in Little Five. Will it take away from the artsy and the style of Little Five? Seven stories is a lot of stories. There are a lot of questions about that, and I'll be very curious how that ends up. Lauren Welch has lived in nearby Candler Park for 18 years and favors the project. For all its charm, Welch says Little Five and its businesses need more people, especially in the daytime. Those are people who are eyes on the street. That helps increase safety. That also helps increase the customer base for businesses in the area. So that part's really exciting. It's inconsistent with the neighborhood. But longtime resident Scott Micas says the project would create a development that's too large and too generic in a neighborhood that is anything but. It's out of scope and uncharacteristic to the development of the neighborhood. Also unique to this controversy, no rezoning is required. The owners of the property could start rebuilding ASAP. In Little Five Points, Doug Richards, 11 Alive News.